guys welcome back to the weekly vlog yo it's happening the kid Pop is it. here what's popping um how does that one go y'all wasn't tuned in back in or no y'all wasn't tuned in back then i ain't doing no verse quit asking uh -huh. what's popping what's popping okay that was our wrap segment of this vlog. What's going What's on, the babe? Date? What's the date? Today's the date is I don't even know. March. Corona day. And yeah, it's just like here we are. Um, what's going on? Tell them what's going on. Right now we're in Reno. We're up here in Reno. We got here the other day uh, <laughs> to come visit some family. Yeah. And so we're here so you can drive safer. Yeah, so we're here to visit fam. Don't put it all on me. This is too much. Can't handle it. Can't handle the heat. We're here visiting family, but yesterday and today have been major days in the coronavirus pandemic. So, we're gonna go home. We're gonna go home soon. Yeah, we're cutting our trip short, which is a bummer, obviously, because we came here, uh, we haven't seen our families in a while, and we yeah. were gonna see Clayton's family up here too. That's important to us. But other things, like things like this happen and things that are important to you just, I don't know, like obviously we wanna see our family and that's important to us, but at the same time, it seems more important to like keep our family healthy and also just go do what's necessary in this situation, which it's developing every day, so it's kind of hard to say exactly what we need to do yeah. or what we're gonna do, but it is something that seems to be getting worse every day at this point, not better yet. So, basically what we have concluded from all of the information that we have been able to obtain is that the most responsible thing we can do is spend as much time by ourselves and in our home as yeah. possible. Not necessarily because we are worried about if we got the virus, if we would be okay, but because if you get the virus, even if you're gonna be okay, you can still spread it to people who wouldn't be okay. Right. Whether that's people you personally know, love, and care about, or people you don't know, love, or care about, I still don't want to be responsible for spreading something spreading that's killing people so it might seem dramatic it might seem drastic to do these things but I don't want to find out when it's too late that I shouldn't have been going about my life the way that I was so yeah I mean this is just like the weirdest scenario ever that I did not imagine would ever happen yeah. I, I didn't even know that this was like a I don't know I just this is crazy so enough rambling about the coronavirus basically we're going home to isolate ourselves a bit more not, we come here to socialize and see people and that's just not the right thing to be doing right now so we're gonna leave because of that we are gonna go home and get supplies because um, over the past couple of weeks you guys have probably seen that things are like flying off the shelves and a lot of uh, Things are sold out in the grocery store, water, toilet paper, paper towels, uh, flu and cold things, frozen foods, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty bad in LA, it looks like. I've got some pictures from some friends of things that are sold out and it's like crazy. So we are gonna go home and prep a little bit because it is very likely that our country would experience a quarantine since this is a global crisis. So yeah, I mean, this is just so bizarre that we are talking to you guys about <laughs> like going home and preparing for the zombie apocalypse and cutting our family trip short because of a virus, but that is truly like the landscape that we're living in right now, so. Gotta uh, do what you gotta do. Yeah. And everybody just needs to try to stay healthy, so. Yeah, That's Wash what we're gonna hands, try to do, so. Stay inside, clean everything with like wipes and Clorox, Clorox and something else. Lysol. Lysol kills the virus, which is really good. Sorry, we're driving in a parking garage, so it's like freaking. I'm doing circles, so the lights yeah, change. Crazy. Five seconds. Just stay home, whether you're sick or not sick, as much as possible, so that you don't spread more germs and take care of everyone on the planet, not just yourself. And prep for what may be to come. 
to get supplies, clean your hands, clean your belongings, clean your house, and yeah, that is our coronavirus current update conference. So thank you for joining. Wait, you guys need to squeeze. Wait, this is so crooked. Guys, we are in Reno, reporting live from Reno. 775. And I'm forcing them to be in my vlog. And I think it's making them uncomfortable. <laughs> nah, we're grand. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna do a QA. and a um, I asked you guys on Instagram for questions, so you sent them over. And Casey and Katie are gonna, and me, are gonna answer all these fun questions about growing Each up other. together. Life. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for this? Ready. <laughs> Wait, all the hair looks really yeah, good. Yeah, I didn't together. know we were being Oh, thumbs. yeah, so, we um, are like, basically. I didn't brush my hair today. <laughs> They're the Puffer Puff Girls. We should have masks. Or Charlie's Angels. <laughs> the other spice. day, I was trying oh to explain God. to Clayton like how funny Katie was in high school. Like, I was she, a psychopath. I was like, she was literally a class clown. Like, like she would do stuff like just to make the whole class laugh. Like that was her <laughs> goal in life. The mother Mary yeah, I see that. Yeah. around the building or, and got in-house suspension. Remember, <laughs> remember those weird balloons that you would bring into class, and when the teacher was writing on the board, you would like let it go, and some like yeah, weird like, animal would like fly around, and then no, the teacher would be like, like, what is like, that? like like when you yeah. let air out of a balloon and then it just like but it was like up. shaped like a weird animal <laughs> all right we have to save these stories for the q a okay who wants to man them who wants to pick the question i'll pick the questions this is yeah. a question master question remember don't yeah. do hard, don't do hard <laughs> also katie like lives and works on a yacht now and she came back with an accent so if you guys hear that it's new she's it's fake news she's not for it. <laughs> she's not yeah it's fake okay first question is how do you maintain your friendship? We okay. had a group chat all the, remember our group chat? Oh, yeah. We always replied to it in, on holidays. Yeah, that we send each one. other holiday messages. All the time. And I sweet. feel like yeah. when, <laughs> when you're like older and doing your own thing and like living in different places and stuff, you just, you don't need as much attention and like you just check in every once in a while and like let the person know you care but you don't have to talk like every day or hang out every day and it still is enough. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's like quality over quantity. Yeah. yeah. And you don't have to put like too much pressure on yourself. Like, oh, if I don't like text this person every week, we're like not actually friends. It's like if you've been friends for years and you just check in every couple of months, like I feel like it still means a lot. Yeah. yeah. And then you just see each other and it's like nothing's ever changed. Yeah. It's still like the same you see friendship each other that you've you always can. had. Yeah. And we it's not like a big deal. Always like showed up for every like each of our like big events in yeah. life yeah. too. Like we've never like missed each other. So yeah, just those. be there when you need to be there, like on important times. But other than that, it's not like or like this coincidental all three of us in yeah. one town at the same time. Which yeah, hasn't happened. Doesn't happen. So we haven't long. seen each other in years, so <laughs> you know, just kind of casual like that. What is one of the craziest memories you have together? Kesha concert. Um, no, probably <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That does not go live. Yeah, you that tried, does yeah. not. Oh, what about freeway. Kesha? What did we do? <laughs> I don't remember. Like I what lightweight Kesha? remember Kesha. What are other crazy things? I mean, it's kind of crazy. Me and Casey, when we were freshmen in high school, we thought it was like a really cool, good idea to slice our fingers open and mix our blood. Oh, so blood sisters. Yeah. So blood sisters. Normally you just do like a pin. Lainey grabbed a box cutter and then she yelled at me when I was too scared to do it. I was like, let me see. And then she did it and it was so scary. I thought it was fine. We also popped my tire trying to go get churros one time and then drove on it for miles trying to just fix to it ourselves because I was terrified to tell my oh dad. Oh my god, oh my god. I have a sketchy story that me and Katie did We used did to be too. Navy SEALs. Yeah, we used to sneak out of my house, my mom's house, when we were in like 8th grade and go like to Anywhere. this house that was being built that up was the haunted. street. It was haunted. Sure. It, like it was so sketchy. Like we would just go hang out in a half really built late house. At night. Yeah. Remember that one yeah. time? Like, and I like thought a whole we were car gonna drove die. up, and then we had to like we had everyone to, like, ran hide separate in ways. The, in the like plywood. That was like really sketchy. Okay, let's do that one. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we expose ourselves. <laughs> were you the popular girls, and did you get good grades? What do you guys think? We were definitely the cool kids. <laughs> I think we were like, we definitely were oh, we like thought the we were. party group. No, we were just hard like because fun. our school was so small <laughs> that was there even like popular people? Everyone just had like separate groups in our high school, I feel like. I didn't because it wasn't group. that big of a high school. 
No, like, like kids were like broken you had up. A grade. I feel like. And then, did you get I good was grades? A weird person. When we I had got to. good grades. Delaney was a scholar. <laughs> I was a freaking on a roll. We passed. Were you on a roll? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we all passed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some well, grades better than others. We did there. But we did get our high school degree. <laughs> if that's what you're asking. <laughs> and college. Wow. Yeah. Oh, surprisingly, wow. we're doing great. We made it. it. Okay. Okay. Did we have any traditions growing up? This isn't really a tradition. Me and Katie have been going to school together since third grade, like I said, and me and Casey since high school, all of us since high school, always Catholic school. And I'm Innocent not Catholic. Catholic school girls. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm not Catholic and never was, which is really weird that I went to Catholic school basically my whole life. And um, I always wanted to know what the communion tasted like. So, oh. so I would Katie bring it was back. Catholic. So she would pretend to take it and then she would give it to me at recess every Wednesday, which is at kind of recess. a tradition. Yeah. We would just I would go up there, ask for it, and then I would put my hands together like this and pretend to eat it and then walk away and then save it for later. And I'd just give it to Lainey. <laughs> how weird is that? Uh, how was growing up in Reno? Okay, growing up in Reno was interesting. Quite interesting, I would say. Um, yeah. There's like looking back at it now, it's more strange than you yeah. don't really realize growing up like how crazy of a city it actually is. Yeah. It's definitely blown up over the yeah. last year. True. So like it was so different when we were in high school. Yeah. It was a it's a good place to raise a family. Like it's relatively safe and small, which makes like a pretty nice connected community, but it's also like a college town, so there's a lot of premature partying. Yeah. yeah. Drinking at a young age. Well, and then the yeah. bars are open 24 seven. <laughs> and the casino. It's yeah. really easy to catch an alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there was give and take. <laughs> that's what it was like. There you go. Well, that's sad. <laughs> oh, back Let's in high school, one. what did you think you'd be doing at this time in your life? Okay. Lainey wanted to be an MMA fighter at one point. <laughs> I literally was like, you want to be a sports broadcaster? Yeah, I also wanted news. to join the Peace Corps. You wanted to go dig up dinosaur bones. Yep. A bit of everything. <laughs> you had a lot of, what didn't I want to be? True. So, yeah, I don't know where I thought I would be. What about you guys? I probably oh. thought I was going to be like I don't know a mom with like, kids by 30. I don't Definitely think I not the case. <laughs> Never really thought into the future that far. <laughs> Let's do that one. Right. Something you have in common and something you are different. Okay. In common, we're all really compassionate, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. We're nice people. Yeah. Genuine. Uh, I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. Really it depends on the person with you. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> like she has red hair. She's got she's spicy. A blonde brunette and a redhead will walk yeah. into a coffee shop. Okay, what do we all have in common? And what do we all have to do? I think we're all pretty independent. Yeah, like for girls. So. Yeah. At this age. And something that we have different. Katie is like really outdoorsy and she's adventurous. Trip, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not for sure. Yeah, you are. I mean, I don't want to go live on a boat with like in a tiny bed. <laughs> but you, you're good. <laughs> but at I like, like that. that. Yeah. It's something me and Casey have you're different. Like the Casey one. is like so good at dealing with really hard situations, like really sad, hard things. Like I would just be like crying and not okay. Strong. And she's like Super so, oh, so thanks. tough and strong, and she like helps people so much because of that. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. But if she doesn't you're like you, well. <laughs> but if she doesn't like you, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the worst thing we did in high school? We can each give one thing. Casey. Probably worst when thing. I got arrested at the rodeo. You were in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you might be the winner. Okay. Yeah. What was the worst thing you did? Maybe move the statue of Mary. Yeah, I, she was <laughs> such a class clown, you guys. She moved. Or start a massive food fight. She oh. no, I think Mary's worse. She moved the statue of Mary. Like, where'd you even move it? It was like in between. Like, I think I went to go to the bathroom and didn't realize there was cameras in the hallway. And, and I moved the statue funny. from the little funny. seal and put it like at the top of the staircase. To and then funny. went back to class. And then but it was they, big. Yeah, yeah, it was huge. It was, it was like, like life size feet. Mary. It, brother. Okay. The Got worst thing, what is the worst oh, thing I did in high school, guys? <sighs> I don't uh, know. <laughs> what 
did you do, lady? They did someone for too long. Didn't listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> How did we meet? Should we do that one? Yeah. We met at school in fourth grade. Third grade. Third grade, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or actually, I think I met you before I came to school because like our moms knew each other oh, okay. or something. So yeah, from oh yeah, from like yeah. So siblings I was changing schools in third grade, and our moms like introduced us, and then she was like my my crutch <laughs> going into school. <laughs> and we crutch. believed that there was a moth man living under Delaney's yeah. bed for like the first oh, no. five years of our friendship. Of our life. <laughs> And me and Casey met, we were waiting in line for books or uniforms. Books. With our parents. From an Yeah. And like she had just finished soccer practice and I don't know what the hell I was doing. And you had golf. volleyball. I had volleyball practice and we just like started talking and then we've oh, literally been friends history. ever since. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean I had a very beautiful You've room. always been like, on like, the weekend. You a stylist yeah. since oh, day yeah. one. She would always just like want to go shopping and yeah. have her own style we and your clothes. yeah, dress yeah. us up. I liked it. Me and Shay got voted best dress. Yeah, in eighth, in eighth grade. grade. So she's yeah. been the best dress for like, twenty years now. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe put a few years in your life. <laughs> did you all have any drama? And how did you deal with it? Not with each other. Yeah, one time. <laughs> that one time. <laughs> I never forget. <laughs> Who? Yeah, one time. All of us. Yeah, one time. <laughs> and she was so mad. At night. One time, Casey about. and our other friend Bree, who's not here today, but it's like her birthday. excluded. Yeah, it's her birthday. And I'm throwing her under the bus. <laughs> You, you guys like I texted her. You guys had a sleepover and you invited like everyone in the school but me. Oh my god. Yeah, it was so obviously mean. not me either. <laughs> no, you, were, you were invited. <laughs> And it was, it was so mean, over. and I hate confrontation, but it hurt my feelings so bad that I had to confront them. So I made them meet me. And they were like an hour late. An hour is excessive. No, you guys were literally so okay, late. Okay, it might have been an hour. You guys were, oh, and you, you had already had a toasted I was like, bagel with strawberry <laughs> cream cheese. <laughs> I don't even think we got bagels. We sat in the car. Yeah, I was and I cried. Bagel. No, you And they bagel. never admitted that they were trying to exclude me. They were like, it was an accident. Say it like, probably was. <laughs> Literally. I'm sticking to my story. We <laughs> <laughs> still haven't evolved, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, I have a story of something. It wasn't drama, but it's something bad that I did to you. What? Oh no! When you pierced it's... my ear, <gasps> she pierced my ear too. <laughs> she pierced. That was the garlic. worst thing you've done for sure. Mine still has a hole in it, and every she... time I put an earring, it goes bright red. She took an earring. Yeah, and an, pierced an my earring garlic. from her That's ear. Not normal. That's how Same. I pierced all of you. <laughs> We are. Oh my god, what have I done? Yeah. What? Okay, the question is what was our favorite trend in high school? What was trending? Side bangs. Oh, oh yeah. I had that. For part. sure. Oh my god, yeah. the side bangs went ham. I mean, we wore uniforms. So we, we wore uniforms, so we could high We popped our collar. So we always wore like those These clogs. two untucked their shirts. Yeah. Rebels. I never untucked my shirt because <laughs> we weren't allowed to. Well, what did we wear? Oh, those clogs were so awful. We wore oh, they were from those American Eagle. Yeah. The Birkenstock clog thing. Yeah. yeah. The closed toed ones. With and the knee high socks. Yeah. Tights and socks were a big thing for us because that was the only way Air we Force could express ones. ourselves. Yeah. Me and Katie wore Air Force ones in uh, oh, right. third grade third or fourth grade because we were obsessed with Nelly. Yeah. We would and sing every single song. And look what I'm wearing today. Oh my God. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's about it. A lot of eyeliner. Lots of yeah. eyeliner. I used to put a black streak in my hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have just been, you know, really expressive always. I'm yeah. I pierced my friends, apparently. I don't even remember that. Okay, start you. I wanted them yeah. to express with me. <laughs> and she'd get so mad when you would say it her. We all had our belly buttons pierced at one stage. Oh, yeah. Well, not me, because I have an Audi. You know. We had our nose pierced. Yeah. We, nose. Me and Katie still do. Yeah. So that's it. That's everything. That was us growing up together. <laughs> Fun time. Fun. Oh, yeah. Bringing back all the you best guys memories. Enjoyed it. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Yeah. And it's 
it is every day becoming more and more evident that we need to take this situation very seriously and act responsibly. So that's not to say that you need to freak out or be super scared or paranoid or anything, but um, babe, get over. Just, get just over. be responsible. Okay, you should get away from these trucks is my advice, actually, because I'm pretty sure I feel pretty confident in my uh, location at the moment. Can you get over? I'll get over for the confidence. Oh my god. Of my co-pilot. He is such a sketchy driver. What? This is a serious situation that we need to act responsibly on, which means preparing for what's to come, which is likely a quarantine, just like other countries have experienced. I look at how he drives. Look at I'm looking, looking at, at the road. Are you boreal. kidding me? Are you kidding me? Looks really nice. Are I should have gone snowboarding kidding today. Me. Why am I? Why am I not snowboarding today? I hate this guy. <sighs> Wait. Road trip vlog. Let me get real weird. 